It's almost time for you to return to Hogwarts. Before you go, why don't you go and have some fun with your friends? Let Arthur know when you want to leave. Harry, how are you? Fine. Must have been a shock seeing that happen to Mr. Weasley. We're glad you were able to warn us. If you hadn't, things could have become much more serious. Whatcha, Harry? Tonks, what's it like to be an Aura? That's what I want to be when I leave Hogwarts. Well, it's lots of hard work, but being a dark wizard catcher does have its rewards. I better warn you, though, there's lots of studying to do before you qualify. What are you doing, Ginny? Creatures been hiding things, so we can't throw them out. Mum's asked me to find anything we might have missed in here. Be careful, though. There's some really dangerous stuff in this house. Order of Merlin, first class. This was awarded to Sirius's grandfather. Sirius said his grandfather gave the Ministry lots of gold. Weird, isn't it? Sirius being related to someone who acts like Lucius Malfoy. They're related. Lucius Malfoy married Narcissa Black. That means Sirius has Draco in his family. No wonder Sirius doesn't want anything to do with them. Mm, let's see what else there is. Ugh, I feel so sleepy. Careful, Harry. Mm, let's see what else there is. What's that book? Nature's Nobility, a wizarding genealogy. Nature's Nobility? Let's see what else there is. Wingardium Leviosa! Accio! Look at this. Hmm, won't open. Thanks, Harry. I think that's everything. I'd better pack. I'll see you later. I'd better get these to Mum, then get packed. The noble and most ancient house of Black. Lestrange. They're in Azkaban. I used to be there until Mother blasted me off. I hated the lot of them. Went to live with your father. You haven't seen Creature, have you? He's been missing for quite some time now. You don't think he could have left the house, do you? He might despise me, but he still has to have my permission. No, he's skulking around here somewhere. I'd better look for him.
Have you seen Creature? I want to give him his Christmas present. No, I haven't seen him. Hi. Hi, Harry. Listen, mate, about my dad. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry? You saved his life. I'm not sure. I think... I think it was me who did it. It couldn't have been you, could it? Like mine is always saying, you can't leave Hogwarts magically. There's no way it could have been you. Are you all right, Mr. Weasley? Absolutely, Harry. St. Mungo's was an interesting experience. You know, a trainee healer there showed me some old muggle remedies. Did you know they use things called stitches to sew wounds back together? Fascinating. What really happened when you were attacked? It's very simple. I'd had a very long day, dozed off, got sneaked up on and bitten. Are you ready to go back to school? Yes, I'm ready to go. You should speak to Sirius. He's waiting for you in the tapestry room. If my mistress only knew the vermin infesting our house, it would break mistress's heart. My mother didn't have a heart. Now go away, creature. Whatever master wishes. Nasty brat. So, time to go back to Hogwarts. Seems like we're always saying goodbye. It won't always be this way. You're a good person, Harry. Harry! It's Hagrid! He's back! Hagrid! Where have you been all this time? Oh, well, that's a bit complicated, you see. What's going on, Hagrid? I can't leave without telling someone about him. About who? I couldn't just leave him. See, he's my brother. Grop. Well, half-brother. Grop! <sighs> Meet your new friend, Hermione! <sighs> Mm. 
Hey, Harry, hadn't you better get to Snape's office? You've got your next occlumency lesson. Thanks for reminding me. You'd better get to Snape's office. Hadn't you better get to Snape's office? Flaming earwigs. Ah, they're everywhere. Let's go and see Professor McGonagall. I think she's outside her room. I really want to go to Hogsmeade next time. Are you? <laughs> Weasley is our king. He always lets the quaffle win. I don't you better get to Snape's office. Why do they have to hang me in You're late, Potter. Inside. What just happened then, Potter? I've just realized. What's in the Department of Mysteries? What? I'd forgotten I'd seen it. When I'd been there for the hearing, 
I've been dreaming about it. Voldemort's been thinking about it. What's there that he wants? There are many things in the Department of Mysteries, Potter, few of which you would understand, and none of which concern you. Do I make myself plain? But... This lesson is over. Hi, Harry. Everyone's waiting for you in the Room of Requirement. Okay. I think the DA is going really well. Everyone's making such good progress. Spilled? Scurrilous scoundrel. Hospital? Scurrilous scoundrel. Hospital? Scurrilous scoundrel. Yeah, 
It's a stag. Blimey, Harry. I never knew that. Why don't you teach us Expecto Patronum? All right, but you'll need to think of a really happy memory to get a powerful Patronus. Now copy me. Expecto Patronum! Run! Harry? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Run! <laughs> You're for it now, Potter! Shove off! Run, run. Oh, it's the it's the I won't let you do Excellent, Draco. Excellent. Fifty points to Slytherin. I'll take him from here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry. Well, the game is up. Would you like a written confession? Professor, no! Be quiet, Harry. I instructed Harry to form this organization. And I alone am responsible for its activities. I'm afraid I have no intention of going quietly. What's the matter? They came for Hagrid, a group of Ministry Wizards and Umbridge. What? Is he all right? Hagrid escaped, but Professor McGonagall tried to help him. She's been hurt. We have to do something. We need to get to Hagrid's hut in case he's left any evidence about, you know, him helping Dumbledore with the giants. Hi. Hi. 